So yesterday I was just walking through the shed taking some carbon dioxide levels and I posted uh, this morning uh, some of my levels I found uh, within the shed and then within one of my hives and I, so I stuck this thing back into that same hive I tested yesterday and it's reading uh, what's that read? 94.22 so that's pretty consistent, or a little bit higher than yesterday, but uh, I'm just going to stick the uh, carbon dioxide detector in a, the hive beside it to see if I find the same thing. So what all this means, I really don't know. Um, I just find it really interesting. Uh, I've always been told, I've read, and just the background knowledge that, uh, you know, how we kind of rest on. As guys have always said that the bees kind of encase themselves into a carbon dioxide envelope just to help them um, slow down and drift uh, through the length of winter. And it makes a lot of sense when you think of it. Uh, I've never had any way of proving that or acknowledging that in any way until I got this little uh, carbon dioxide sensor. Reading uh, 3155 with 91% relative humidity inside. So this one is substantially lower. Why it's lower, I have no idea, but that's the readings within that colony. So I'm just going to check these other two up here, which I can access pretty easily just to see what's going on. So this one's settled out a lot lower yet. Uh, 2015 with 66% humidity inside. So that's a much lower reading yet. That's more of the ambient uh, CO2 level inside the shed right now. I just want to do a nuke now just to see what the differences are here in colony size. So I climbed up onto one of the nuke stacks and I'm just testing the top of these nukes here and I want to show you the variability I'm finding here too. So I just have this put into the one nuke. There are six frame nukes. And I'm seeing, what is that, 94, 98, there's 10,000 parts per million. Doesn't read any higher than that. So that's at 86%. So that one ex escalated pretty high. I'm gonna to go to the nuke beside it and see what we got here. Okay, so I just put this in. So this nuke beside it is dropping. We'll see how far it drops here, 24. So the shed in here is roughly around 22. So around that 23, so it's long down to that. Let's we'll see what this next nuke is beside this one. beside it too. There's a lot of variability in the carbon dioxide levels within these colonies. Try one more here. So I gotta get some work done today. I can't be... So here's another nuke right beside that other one that registered around 2200 parts per million and this one's over 10,000. It doesn't read any higher than that. So why is that? It's there, There's a, a lot of variability uh, with the carbon dioxide levels within these hives. And just take a look in the entrance here. These guys are a fairly big cluster. Maybe it has something to do with cluster size. Well, probably has something to do with cluster size or some other kind of uh, 
internal thermal regulation, I don't know. But I just find this really neat. But these are just strictly observations. Um, there's nothing scientific about this. It's just a beekeeper walking through the shed with a carbon dioxide uh, monitor. Here, it's, it's dropping just a little bit here. Now it's uh, 92, 8,800. Now all I did there is I just opened up the entrance of the um, of the hive and it's down to 8,200 oh, 8, parts per million and disturbed the colony a little bit. 77, so it's dropping down uh, after I opened up the entrance and stirred the bees up. Now the bees are actively coming out the front. So I'm wondering if that has to do something with uh, me rattling the cluster and they're coming up the top here. So this is really neat.